Spaceball, an early access Steam game I happened to find by chance when doing my routine scavenge for balls. This game caught my attention in particular due to its uncanny resemblance to a certain series of Flash games I've been known to dabble in, and it only cost £1.69, an offer I could not turn down. The game was released just under a year ago and was developed by the company Heavenbot, which unsurprisingly I'd never heard of, since apparently Spaceball is their only release. The game also has only one user review right now, so it really is in a lonely corner of the Steam store. The store page states the following. Spaceball is a casual adventure game. In this game, you need to control the ball, through the spikes, jump over the magma, collect gold coins along the way, and finally reach the end. It also supports a handful of different languages, as well as having Steam achievements and partial controller support. Before I get into the game itself, it's important to emphasise that it's still in early access. If there's any bugs or just a general lack of polish, I'd hope there's more to come in future updates. That being said, however, I can't see any updates since the initial release in March last year, and by the looks of it, Heavenbot, or Hebot, as they've chosen to call themselves in-game, don't have anything else on its way down the pipeline. But hey, I can't say for sure, perhaps they're just keeping quiet about it, eh? Anyway, upon launching the game I was greeted with a menu screen so bright I almost got a headache immediately. I mean, I'm no expert, but bright orange on a blank yellow canvas wouldn't have been a choice I'd have made. I can also tell from the menu alone that the game has a very cheap flash game sort of feel, evidenced by the basic graphics and fonts, non-existent sound effects and the options screen, or rather lack thereof. At present, there's only 10 available stages, each of which keep track of your fastest completion as well as the highest number of coins you've collected, a feature that always makes me happy to see. After loading into the first level, I was surprised to find that the game actually has no sound whatsoever. I think it's a bit of a stretch to try and cover that up with the early access excuse. But oh well, I'll take any opportunity I can to sit back and enjoy the refined works of Mr Edward Elgar. You're also shown an information screen which lays out all of the controls for both keyboard and controllers. I chose to play with keyboard since controllers aren't supported in the game menus, and I didn't fancy dealing with the obligation to immediately feedback with any questions. I tried closing the info screen with the escape key and was brought straight back to the main menu, so I ended up playing the first level with the information screen visible the entire time. I finally noticed there's a little blue button to close the screen after completing the first stage, but the damage had already been done. I was livid. The game plays somewhat similarly to the Red Ball series, as I'd expected from the screenshots, although has a more space-like, low-gravity feel as the name would suggest. Unfortunately, this made controlling the ball significantly more difficult, and not in a good way. At first, the ball moves really slowly, but can quickly build up lots of speed, making any section that requires moderate precision feel awkward and clunky, especially on these moving platforms, one of which immediately teleports about a foot in front of you the moment you make contact. On top of that, the height of your jump varies depending on how much horizontal speed you have. This makes some part of the stages require some speed before being able to jump up onto the ledge, which is more of a pain in the ass than a challenge. Unlike Red Ball, Space Ball includes the ability to control the ball with the D key or down arrow, allowing you to descend more swiftly down big drops to try and beat your fastest times. It's an interesting feature, but I feel fairly indifferent towards it. Each stage employs the classic get from point A to point B objective, complemented with tough terrain, death traps and a series of obstacles to overcome to reach the final goal. For example, using this inconspicuous piece of wood to boost up to a higher platform, press a button that doesn't light up and open the gate to a later part of a level. There's also the common trend of each next level ramping up the difficulty just slightly over the last. Collecting coins isn't a requirement for beating any stage, they serve as an optional extra for anyone that wants additional challenge in their playthrough. There isn't really much incentive for doing this though, not even a measly achievement. The graphics share the same simple flash game feel as the main menu. The ball itself doesn't appear to roll, but rather levitates a few centimetres above the ground. It also has a tendency to jiggle around when hitting things like it's made of jelly, and has a neat little trail that follows it, changing in size depending on the speed you're travelling at. The trail also freaks out a bit when changing to a new level, as if all the stages are in the same room and you're just being teleported from the end of one to the start of another. 
The game also obeys the fundamental law of conservation of momentum, meaning any momentum you have after completing one stage is transferred over when you start the next. Since you can still move the ball after beating a level, you can quite easily abuse this feature to get up to some interesting antics. Overall, I didn't find Spaceball particularly enjoyable. The stages were limited and fairly boring, and the whole game reeked the fetid odour of early access. And even then, to me it seemed like the game was still some way from leaving alpha testing. So, after bottling up a number of complaints, it's time to pop the cap and let loose with every gripe I had while playing the game. Early access is out the window now. To kick things off, the menus are busted. You can still move the ball after completing a level and while the instructions screen is up. Also, sometimes when I click the restart button it takes me to the home page, or when I click the home button it restarts the level. Not to mention what happens when you die, which isn't a lot. No animation, no sound like the rest of the game. The ball just sticks in place and the text, you are dead, pops up on screen. The Y isn't capitalised either, but as the dev team are Chinese I suppose I can let that slide. If you manage to die where the ball will collide with moving parts then the texture will go mental. The nice little shine on the ball stays perfectly in place though. The ball also has the ability to jump up vertical walls. Unfortunately this isn't as useful in as many places as I'd hoped, but to me it doesn't seem like an intended feature. To top it off, when I completed the 10th level I didn't even unlock the achievement for doing so, and neither did anyone else apparently, so that's broken too. In case you can't already tell, I've been pretty let down by Spaceball. Even taking early access into consideration, the whole game just seems lacking everywhere. No sounds, no animations, super simple fonts and textures. I suppose I could see some people having fun with the game for maybe 20 minutes, but I'd seriously recommend holding off buying it until some serious patches and updates come out, if that ever even happens. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate Spaceball, and I think the game could have potential if it's still being worked on. I just think at the state it's in right now, it'd be much better suited as a free to play flash game. Thanks for watching everyone, don't hesitate to take the like button to suplex city if you've enjoyed. Cheers.